Hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, what is your name? My name's Janaya. Janaya? Do you got a last name? Yes. What's your last name? Thomas. Okay, Janaya Thomas. That's a cute name. Uh, so Janaya, how old are you? I'm eight years old. Eight? Wow, that's good. But I'm gonna be nine in October. Wow. Okay, so what grade are you in? I am in third grade. Okay, third. But I didn't start school yet. Okay, okay. So your last grade that you completed was second grade? Yes. Okay, okay. That's good. Uh, so where are you from, Janine? I'm from Delaware. Okay, okay. Do you, uh, so I, I don't hear a lot about Delaware. So uh, do you know anything about Delaware? I mean, you're pretty young, so I don't think you'll know a lot. But do you know anything about Delaware? No, not really. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't think you would. Uh do you know uh, what Delaware is famous for? No. You don't? No. So uh, Delaware is uh, famous for being the first state ever. So the United States got 50 states and Delaware is one of them, but Delaware was the first one. So year-round history. So uh, what school do you go to? I go to McVeigh. McVeigh, okay. And is that like a elementary, middle school, high school all together, or is it just uh, elementary? It's just an elementary school. Okay, okay. Do you like that school? Yes. Did you go to McVeigh for your whole uh, schooling? No. Where did you go before that? Before I went to McVeigh, I went to Gilpin Manor, and I actually went to Gilpin twice. Oh, wow. Because I went to Gilpin when I was, when I first started school, mm -hmm. when I was in pre, pre K. Uh -huh. And then I also went there for first grade. Oh. But I didn't, I didn't go to, Mc, to McVeigh for three years because I wanted to, but I switched schools to another school called Holly Hall because I moved. Oh, wow. And where was these schools? Remember that Gilpin was in Maryland, oh, and man. also Holly Hall was too. Okay, okay, Maryland. So you moved far? Is how far is Maryland from Delaware? A couple of minutes. Oh wow! So it's close. No, when you say Maryland, I, I was thinking that it was like far, far away. Okay, so uh, out of all three of the schools that you went to. Which one did you like the most? Which one did you have the most friends in? My favorite school was Gilpin Manor. Oh, Gilpin Manor. Okay, okay. So you didn't like McVeigh? Not really. Why? Maybe because it was your first year? No. Oh, wow. Maybe because it's a new environment. Wait, wait. So you did say that you came from Maryland. You came from Maryland before, uh, before you went to this school, McVeigh, right? Yep. So maybe what it was is uh, maybe your uh, kind of your comfort zone is maybe more in Maryland. Yeah, and also I didn't really like it there because. The food was dry, and yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, where was the food dry? Everywhere. Where? Everywhere? No, I'm saying, what school? In McVeigh. Oh, in McVeigh? So you don't like McVeigh because the food is dry? Yeah. Okay. That's the only reason why you don't like it? And also, it was kind of dirty. Oh. It was. It's not like that in Maryland? No. Okay. Well, you know what they say, like, so, so, so you're originally from Maryland? Yes. Okay, but okay. But I have been living in Delaware for a couple of years now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, see, maybe the thing is, is uh, when you was living in Maryland, that was probably like your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So when you, like, at first, you only been going to, how long have you been going to school in Delaware? A year. A year. 
So the thing when is, I went to school in Delaware is when I went to McVeigh, and I'm gonna go back next year, but I'm gonna have to go online. Oh, you're gonna have to go online. Oh, because of the COVID. Yeah, and I'm not trying to get sick. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've been watching the news and and uh, school alerts and stuff like that, and there've been they a lot of people's been saying uh, a lot of the kids that if they don't do the whole yeah, a lot of the kids like in different states that's went been going to school, going back to school, has been getting sick, testing positive for COVID. So a lot of the schools now are just doing like virtual starts, and as the you graduate into the year, they might uh, switch it out, and you guys might go back to school. So, are you ready? Which one would you rather, the virtual school or the regular school? Virtual. Virtual because it's McVeigh or virtual period? Because I don't want to get sick um, because this That's COVID very important. is very serious. Mm -hmm. And also, and if we have to wear masks, I do not feel like wearing a mask for all those hours. <laughs> because I can barely breathe. I don't think they would have you guys wearing a mask for all those hours. Yep, that's exactly why I don't want to go back. That's how all them kids got sick. No, I'm not going. Okay. Oh, you know. All right. So when you when you go to school, what's your favorite subject? Um, my favorite subject. What's your favorite subject and why? Is math, mm -hmm. reading, and music. Okay, and why? Because music is fun, and I really love to listen to music. I like to make my own songs up sometimes. And I really love to read because it gives me, like, more education, and it helps me read, like, bigger words. Mm -hmm. And also, math helps you know because, and unfortunately, when you, sometimes when you have to get a job, you have to know the math. So that you can add up, like if you worked at a grocery store, you would have to know math because you had to like count up all the money and everything. Okay, so that's why math, math is very important because you use math all throughout life. But don't never, a quick reminder, don't never tell yourself that you're going to work at a grocery store. You're not, you're going to be a doctor. No, nothing is wrong. Nothing is, is yeah, wrong. Yeah, if you be a doctor, you're going to need to know your math too. Yes, definitely. But nothing is wrong. There's a lot of things that need that has to do with numbers and adding up. Yeah. Nothing is wrong with nothing is wrong with working at a grocery store or anything like that, but as a as a child you should inspire for more than working at a grocery store. Not to say that working at a grocery store is bad because you can start oh, off no, it was just an example. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry about that. But anyways, uh how how did you enjoy your summer? Great. I loved it. You loved it? What did you do? I did a lot of things. I went to see my mom. I stayed at my grandma's. I went to the park. I went to the store. And I stayed at home and watched TV. Oh, wow. You stayed at home and watched TV? Are you the only child? No. Oh, wow. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two sisters, one brother. Um, I have an oldest brother. Mm -hmm. So my brother was born first, and okay. then it was me. Okay. And then it was my other sister, and then my other sister. Oh, okay, okay. And my other sister, she is about to turn two next month, and also my brother is about to turn 11 next month. Oh, wow. So how... So when is your birthday? My birthday is October 17th. And how old would you be turning? I will be turning nine. Okay, so you'll be nine, your brother would be 11, your sister would be two. And, and how old is your other, other sister? My sister will be eight. And also, me and my other sister, um, well, our birthdays are like very close and I'm a year older than my other sister wow. so our birthdays are like right next to each other but hers is on the 6th but like when I was younger I don't know what was going on but I used to always think that my younger sister was always older than me because her birthday was <laughs> before mine um, but yeah 
that's not how it works. Um, it goes by the years. Yes. And I started to realize that as I got older. Yeah. So, it's the- yeah, so me and my little sister, that birthday is on October 6th. We will be eight together for like a couple of weeks. For real? Yep. Wow. So, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So, do you live with your brothers and sisters? No, I only live with my um, sister, the one that we're very close together. Yeah, I live with that one. Oh, so, oh, you live with the one that you said y'all are going to be the same age together? Yep. I live with her. That's very interesting because you said y'all are the same age for a little bit. Yep. Now, do you guys got the same dad and same mom? Yep. Oh, wow. That's, that's, so you guys are very close then. Yep. Oh. And she gets on my nerves sometimes. Oh, she gets on your nerves, but you love her to death. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Well, Janaya, it was fun talking to you. I really wish you the best of luck in school. I really wish that you continue to be a great student, continue to aspire to, continue to, aspire to be a great person in life, keep your great attitude. When you grow up, you're going to be something great in life. Keep looking up to the people that you look up to. Keep loving the people that you love. Always keep family first. And remember, with family first, anything is possible. Okay? Yep. All right, we're signing out. Okay. Bye.